Voilà! Welcome to the Amanda Notanda Show. I'm Amanda and thank you guys for watching. I am so super excited about today's episode because joining me is a beautiful young lady here in Edmonton. She is um, the founder of Exposed Creatives YAG in Edmonton here of course and it is a um, and it's Edmonton's connecting point for local creatives and businesses and also another exciting thing she is a musical artist I like that I love your voice by the way <laughs> you're welcome yeah so she's a musical artist here in Edmonton and she just released a new single called Dear Queens and Kings Dear yes. Kings and Queens no, yes okay I always try and put the women but no it's only <laughs> Honestly, like I thought, yeah. but I was like, just I don't know, it just flowed. Like, I know. Every time I said yeah. it, I just said it. Back. All right, but it's yeah. really amazing. It's a really good song. Thank you. So she just has a new single with the amazing producer in Edmonton. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, because last time I inter I interviewed one of um his artists, J his J right? Yeah. yeah his J Jay. Black. Yeah, and his one of his artists. I don't Masha. Masha. Yeah, she's exactly. amazing. She's, she's amazing. amazing. And then when I saw you produced by him, I was like, okay, I think we're gonna yeah. have to have him here. Yeah, definitely. Right? And yeah. talk I to him. Yeah, he's amazing. I can, he's amazing. And I've, I've heard the beats and everything. So I was like, wow. Yeah. Okay, this is. There's good. definitely more. Like I recommend going and checking his right. stuff out. His stuff. It's actually all a part of a project he's working on. So. Wow. Um, I'm super excited to see what's more to come. To come. Oh yeah, I'm now getting yeah. excited too mm -hmm. because I'm like, okay, this. The same, but anyway, please help me welcome a Daisy Hubbard. Welcome to the show. Daisy. Thank you so much. Thank you All for right. having me. You're welcome. And anyway, do you mind telling us who a Daisy is before we even get into that? Actually, you know, Canada welcomes and embraces diversity, and yeah, not stereotyping, but you do not look Canadian. I'm sorry. <laughs> Telling the viewers where you're from, or your heritage, yeah. if you're born here, and just your background. Yeah, um, I was actually born here in Canada. Right. Actually, Manitoba, Brandon, Manitoba, wow. a small little town. That's where all my mom's side of the family is. Right. Um, I'm my background though. I'm Nigerian and Ukrainian. Um, so yeah. I'm so who's Nigerian? Who's Ukrainian? My dad's Nigerian. My okay. mom's Ukrainian. Okay, okay. So can you speak yeah. Ukrainian? I don't know the name of the language. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh my you know, god. I can make pierogies. All right, mm -hmm. okay, okay. You know, I can cook a couple dishes and whatnot, but yeah. nothing crazy. Nothing yeah. crazy. Wow, that is yeah. so, so amazing. And that's the beauty of Canada, right? Mm -hmm. You have people from all over the world exactly. and mixed cultures, yeah. just diversity on its own, right? Exactly. And that is so good to know. So um, what else can we know about a daisy, like in brief, like in a nutshell? So as you said, I am the founder of Exposed Creatives, YEG, which yeah. is a connecting point for local creatives and businesses. And we're actually a not-for-profit organization. So right. we also focus on putting on events that can help give back to the community. So right. back in August, we did have our back to school event. Oh, so wow. we gave back school supplies. MC College came and did free haircuts. The Edmonton Eskimos came through and showed some support. Oh. Um, that was on the South Side. Saint Laurent, yes. I've heard about yeah, I've, I've heard but an of amazing it, yeah. school. Like they helped us out so much. I can send you the information. Yeah, right for sure. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, it was a great event. We have had over forty haircuts were given okay. to students. I should all oh, students. I was yeah. going to say I should have. No, <laughs> even, like, even some parents were coming and stuff really? like that. Yeah, it was an awesome event. We had a free wow. barbecue. We had artists perform, so right. we all just want to help connect the local businesses and the local creators in the city, help right. give back, help create opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, I sing. So yeah, I just released my single, Dear Kings and Queens, um, produced with Jay Black. Yeah. Um, super amazing, definitely go check it out. Yes. 
Yes. Um, but I'm also working with Sea Tribe, okay. um, which is a festival that is happening here in November, okay. which is super exciting. So if you're into tech innovation and the creative art scene, like yeah. definitely come through. There's gonna be fashion shows, Venezuela nights, African yeah. nights. So it's gonna be super awesome. So okay. and then we're gonna have the details and put them down yeah, below here, I'll send it so down. people can get to know and follow, and then also go and attend the event because yeah, it'll be very. Trust me, y'all don't want to miss it. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. So exposed, you you you're the founder of Exposed Creators, right? Let's talk about that. What brought about the idea of establishing such a non-profit organization to make matters worse? Yeah, because so everybody is looking to get promoted and everybody is yeah. looking for money on top of that. But then how do you expose creatives and yeah. why not for profit? So honestly, I took my Bachelor of Commerce mm -hmm. in school and I yeah. majored in management. So um, I was actually in an accident last year and I was in bed, like just recovering for a few days. And I was laying here and I was like, wow, like it kind of like it's like, wow, wow. your life is like what if this could have been worse or exactly. whatnot like so you just, just be think grateful right? yeah so i just had a, a huge burst of gratitude and i was mm -hmm. like i can't sit here and do nothing like i'm not going to sit here and feel bad for myself Stop. because what's done is done now and for focus a on yeah recovering healing getting better and putting myself back out there um so i was laying in bed and i was like okay i've always wanted like what am i going to do i'm done school now yeah. I have this degree, I want to work on my music, mm -hmm. but I'm like, I don't know where to go. Where to go. go. Right. So I was like, you know what, let me make something. Right. Because I actually saw 10 at 10 in Calgary, they have something similar, so it's a showcase and they have different events and stuff around Calgary that yeah. help showcase different artists. Wow. And so it's super cool yeah. and they connect with a bunch of different like groups. Right. So I was like, I want to do something like that, but mm -hmm. then kind of go beyond and reach out to all creatives because when yeah. you think about it as a singer i need a producer i need a mixer i need when i go and put it out and i want a nice picture of myself yeah. i need a photographer For, a makeup artist yeah. a hairstylist yeah. all these different and then you want to do a video creatives. you need a cinematographer exactly. an editor lighting everything all yeah. that yeah like you need all these people that yeah. you don't realize and everyone's like where do i go and if we can just mm -hmm. make those connections with each other and help bring each other up yeah. help you know, put each other on the mat. Yeah. Like Edmonton has so much potential. Exactly. There's so much talent. That's it's just saying. unbelievable. Like it blows my mind away. Right. And hence the reason why even last week I sat down with um with the founder of the Egg Events Blogger. Yes, right? I saw as that. well. So it's Amazing. like a lot of people say, Oh yeah, Edmonton is Edmonton, but it's because people do not know where to get the information, yep. right? Hence the reason why we have people yep. like you now, like you know, trying to put people together and exactly. trying to inform people what's going on around the city. Exactly. And just the whole idea of just staying specifically for Edmonton. Exactly. Right? So people can just get involved together. Yeah, it's amazing. Like I know, yeah, gay blogger yeah. and also YAG connector. Like oh, honestly yeah, amazing. Yeah. Like there's just so many pages, there's so many people out there. Yeah. There's like people like you who have these shows where we can come on, you know. <laughs> and it's another way to, you know, bring exposure to sure. You know, create a for people to know okay we didn't oh we didn't even know that there's actually you know exposed oh come yeah. to the show oh now you know exactly. right because it's my audience your audience your audience yeah. knowing me and my audience knowing you too exactly. right so does expose have a certain age to mm -hmm. say you have to be at least around mm -hmm. this age for you to be a part of it or come and showcase your creativity mm -hmm. so we have different events so mm -hmm. our monthly events that we started up in september those mm -hmm. were geared more towards the 18 plus crowd okay um but then we do have events um around every quarter okay that is family events so in june we did have a family barbecue so we went yeah i remember yeah yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. that was super fun we just had different <coughs> activities we had Panther gym come and set up a little course and stuff so wow. we just had so many different people smoothie basics came and yeah, set up so, the yeah, smoothies did the barbecue yeah. so we just have different types of events that right. target different groups but right. honestly the ideal event would just be to be able to have everyone because I think it is very important mm -hmm. to see 
the young kids mm -hmm. look up to these role models within their own city because that's like wow like it's not like you're looking you know Drake awesome yeah but to see someone within mm -hmm. your own community exactly you're like wow I can actually do this like yeah. there's more of that just an ordinary yeah. person right yeah. it's not that I'm saying the Drakes and them are not ordinary but yeah. they've made it right yeah. they started from yeah where we, we didn't are. see that you know growth yeah happen. yeah yeah so I think it's really important that it's also amazing to have these you know creatives that have yeah. established themselves come and share that with these youth yeah. and stuff because it just helps give them knowledge wisdom helps yeah. them grow helps yeah. them get inspired and yeah. motivated and yeah. be like okay i can do this, do this yeah. and this is what i need to do and right. kind of get that guidance yeah. wow. so that is so so amazing yeah. and it's actually like a positive um, initiative here in the city which is so amazing and keep it up we never give up because obviously there's going to come competition people who want to always, who always want to say, I wanna honestly I don't think it's competition, competition either yeah. because everyone out here we're all doing maybe yeah similar things, things but yeah. it's all targeting a different group and it's right. all kind of uplifting you in a different way like yeah. Black Connection now they have their Afro oh, Latina the night and they guys, yeah. I don't see that as like wow like they're connecting mm -hmm. like we have like different overlaps we've collab collabed with them actually mm -hmm. bringing um, dance workshops and stuff wow. so it's super awesome and then you see Soul Search and they put on events as well yeah that just help highlight like creative arts but also like wellness and right. all that stuff so I think it's not a matter of competition it's there's right. always going to be people coming out and I think it's just so inspiring and yeah. motivating because yeah. that's what I want to see I want pe to see people create right. that is what exposes there to do you're not going to be you know with us forever and you know you're going to grow outside of you know maybe even coming to exposed events right. but the point is that you know we're all here to work together, together. we're here to make those connections together yeah. to help us grow right. and if we can see others yeah. doing the same thing and help bringing those people together, together. that's that's the ultimate goal so right. why am I going to be bad at someone right. else wow. doing that. I think it's about collaborating more than anything, yeah. right? And collaborations are the things that are putting people on the map. Yeah. The things that are making the next person be noticed. Like, yeah. oh, how come I didn't know this person? Mm -hmm. And I want to know more, right? Which is so, so super amazing. So then throughout this journey, like it hasn't been so long, you mentioned that you started yeah. last year, right? Yeah. Obviously, other than just the, the, the successes that you're talking about right mm -hmm. now, you've obviously faced challenges, right? right? Even if it's a not-for-profit organization. Yeah. Do you mind sharing with us what challenges you faced yeah. and how you got through it? Right? Yeah, so honestly, when you start something up, mm -hmm. it's it's your money, like it's your of investment. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's something like lots of people don't understand necessarily when they first go into it. You're like, mm -hmm. okay, I have this great idea, this is what I want to do, mm -hmm. but you don't realize what kind of has to be put into it. Mm -hmm. So that was like a huge challenge like because mm -hmm. I had this huge idea of I wanted to do this and I wanted to do that but yeah. when I first started looking I was like whoa like this is gonna cost money and like I'm just a recent grad like yeah you know I don't have this like good job oh. yet I don't, you know I don't have money like yeah. that but honestly the help of the community yeah. like is what help like makes it exposed yeah. strive. Yeah because with the help of the Church of John, like we hosted our events there. Oh, wow. And they offered up their space, they gave us guidance, they mm -hmm. helped us out so much. Mm -hmm. Like and just the help with like even like our volunteers with mm -hmm. you know Naomi, she's one of the team members. Okay. She makes sure we have all our equipment, mm -hmm. Odell's photography mm -hmm. and stuff. And we just have so many other people that we've encountered. So it's like I have these challenges that I face. Mm -hmm. But like immediately, there's this huge group mm -hmm. that is there to be like, I'm here to support you. Let me help you. What do you need? Mm -hmm. How can I, you know, make your journey easier? easier. Yeah. So yeah. definitely, like the funding thing, like that's huge. But mm -hmm. we're now like officially a not for profit, so now we can go and start getting grants and everything. So that's super exciting. We're excited yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, and then also another challenge, I guess would kind of just be like getting people like to like putting the work in to actually get there we're a small team right now so right. oh yeah of doing, course yeah. you start as a small team yeah too, right? and like it's a lot of work so it's I like bet. 
balancing, like finding that balance at yeah. first between, yeah. okay, this is what needs to be done, mm-hmm. but I also need to take care of myself. That's because true. I know there was times where I'd be draining myself because yeah. I was like, I need to get this done. Oh, yeah. I can't sleep. I can't do this. Yeah. But I'd end up being so drained and like almost breaking down so like honestly i think like it's so important to make sure that you're in check because if you're not in check your event your things that are around you are going to be up to the standard standard. that you want yeah because you need to make sure you're good you're energized you're ready your head is in the right place so you can be the absolute best version of yourself that you can be and so i have now I'm still learning, <laughs> but like learning that balance where it's like, okay, you know what? Today, I'm gonna take a step back, yeah. and I'm just gonna have and this we have for to myself. realize that, mm-hmm. right? Exactly. Yeah, because I remember I, I I also do films that we were talking yeah. about it earlier on. I write, I produce, and whatever. And then it's one of those a friend of mine just recently was like, oh yeah, Amanda, because I'm giving away two of my clothes, yeah. right? So then I was like. A friend of mine just says, oh, Amanda, why don't you do a fashion show, right? It's yeah. like, I, I feel you can pull off a fashion show. Me, I'm thinking, my show is a handful. You know yeah. what I mean? I've dealt with films. I've dealt yeah. with, you know, like a big crew. And I'm like, I'm not about to go back there because already it's given me, like, the show is yeah. is time consuming already, yeah. right? Yes, a show, but a show, a, a, a fashion show would be really great. Mm-hmm. I love fashion, you know what I mean? But then can I take it on right now, right? Yeah. You need to know your limits at a certain yeah. period of yeah. what you're doing yeah. and what you can manage, right? Mm-hmm. Which is so important what you're saying. Self-care is really yeah. important. But I just thought of a question right now, considering the fact that you mentioned <laughs> that you graduated in, um, you did a Bachelor of Commerce, right? Yes. And then you're in the arts. I'm trying to figure, like, I'm trying to put that together. How did you get into the arts from graduating in commercials more than anything? Um, so I've always been into the arts. So okay. I've been singing since I can remember, but I yeah. really started taking it like serious, writing my own stuff um, in high school. Because at my high school, Beth Basie, yeah. we had a program called Creative Music. So that was like my first, like, okay, going into music program, you yeah. know, performances, you practice writing. So that's where I really started like writing music. Yeah. Um, I taught myself piano, like not a crazy amount, right? Just, All right. Yeah, There's yeah. A couple little one twos. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that really opened the door. Wow. Um, I've been dancing, like I did um, African. So dancing. why didn't you study that? that, that that's what the <laughs> question is. Like, <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I just think it's important to know different aspects. Like I, okay. I can go out and learn dance and go and do all these things. I can go mm-hmm. and learn music, but I also know that I want to be in control of what I'm doing. I want to be able to say, like, make something that I can okay. call my out of mm-hmm. kind of the experiences and right. what I like doing so I can go and wake up every morning and yeah. what I'm going to work on and, yeah. you know, call my job. I want it to be something that I love and I'm like, yeah. yes, this is what I this want to do. I want. I'm I, going I, out there. I, this is exactly hitting every yeah. point that yeah. I've worked my whole life on because yeah. even, like, I've always been interested in business and stuff, and I've always said I want to open up my own business. I never thought it'd be a not-for-profit, right? Um, but this is just, I know, one of the many things that like I want to accomplish and I right. want to do, so yeah, it's, it's a journey, and I'm excited mm-hmm. to take it, but right. yeah, it's it's basically whatever I can do, the most knowledge I can gain. Like mm-hmm. Now that I know business, mm-hmm. I know all the back end stuff. Not right. only just, okay, I'm going to make the music. Yeah. I know, okay, if I want to open up a business with this, this is what I need to do. Wow. How yeah, to work with people, how yeah. to manage. Like, I used to be so nervous, like, coming to something like yeah. this. Yeah. Before I did university, I would have been like, ooh, what was it? Um, <laughs> what was the question? Yeah. Right? Oh so my. it just taught me so many skills as well to yeah. know, just go yeah. out there by how many presentations you have to make, how many notes you have to take. Like yeah. it teaches you many skills outside yeah. of the actual like course load that right. you learn, So Oh wow, that is so amazing. Oh that's good. And it's always good just to be receptive to learning a lot of things, yeah. right? Not just to stick to one thing. Yeah. So let's talk about the new single, Dear Kings and Chris. <laughs> Congratulations again on the new single. It's really lovely. I was listening to it for the past two days. I was like, okay, okay, what's there to ask on the song? But then again, we live in a world where people are looking for validation. 
Yeah, right. And so when I heard the like the first like the first verse, I was like, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I hope people will listen to the words and the yeah. lyrics, right? So, um, how how long have you been into music, and what made you want to record now? I believe this is your first single, right? No, I actually have some other music. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. I have Me and You, which was produced locally too by okay. Tolu Tommy and Anchol, and oh, it's featured wow. in Westburg. Oh. So that got released in February. Okay. Um, I have a couple other features. Um, Are they also like on Spotify yeah. and yeah. really? Yeah. And okay, then I have okay. Feel good, which is featured with Icy Soul. Yeah. Um, and it's produced by Cheddar Cheese Music in Calgary. Oh. Um, I have a few other things that I'm working on. It's just I've been school like I've kind of been like neglecting, I guess, my music right. side. Yeah. So I've been working on music. I haven't stopped. It's just. <laughs> Now I'm on like, okay, let me start putting out music. Let me actually right. take this serious and mm-hmm. kind of, I was very focused on Exposed, which I still am, yeah. but I was like, okay, I need to also focus on my art as yeah. well. Yeah. So oh, that's wow. what I'm now starting to do. Okay. And with the help of Jay Black, like, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And like, I, I, I've been looking at his work too. I was like, okay. Okay, some upcoming artists, you know, like into music, producing and stuff yeah. like that. And definitely, if you're watching this game, you are actually coming, you're seeing an email. <laughs> and so, also, let's talk about um, the song. What does it mean to you? Were you the one that wrote it? Or yeah, wow. so yeah. I did write it. Um, I just started writing it, and I was like, oh, this is nice. Like, just yeah. step into my own beat. Like, I wasn't yeah. sure exactly where I was going to go. Yeah. Um, but once I started, like, I wrote it, and I was like, oh, wow, like, this kind of really fits with. Yeah. Um, my theme that I have, I have a motivation page where yeah. I like do like videos okay. and yeah. do like I saw it like on, yeah, yeah. On, so on, that's on called Dear Kings and Queens. Okay. So basically, it's I kind of made it in the same light of my page, Dear Kings and Queens, just right. there to help people pick their crowns up when they can. Yeah. So yeah. just reminding people that you are a king, you are a queen, yeah. you're worthy of being loved, you are worthy of, you know, joy, you are worthy of happiness and peace. Right. And just through my music, like I want to be able to use that platform as much as I can to help get that message out there as well. Okay. So that people know, you know, they're not the only ones who are noticing that they're putting themselves through this or they're going through certain obstacles. You're not the only one, you're not alone in this and you don't have to feel alone. That's true. So oh, wow. yeah, just just pushing it out there as much as I can, putting out that positive energy because yeah. it is so important. Like I tell people I'm like life sucks. Like life yeah. gets rough. Yeah. Like, it's hard. And so you can't like, run away from it. Yeah. And it's like having those life itself is already rough. So having those outside impacts that yeah. are also like contributing yeah. like does not help. So yeah. if we can go out there, if you're scrolling down your page and you hear Dear Kings and Queens yeah. or you hear me talking yeah. or you see a little quote yeah. and that can add a little bit of positivity into your day, then yeah. I want to do that because right. we all need that little boost, boost. throughout yeah. the day to yeah. remind you yeah. know yourself like, yeah, right now you're going through a bump. Right yeah. now it's hard, yeah. but this is temporary. Yeah. And you're still doing a great job because yeah. you're up, yeah. you're still working, yeah. you you know that right now is rough, but you're still pushing yourself yeah. for that better day. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's deep, guys. You need to listen to Dear Kings and Queens on Spotify. I've noticed yes. I listen to Spotify a lot. I'm on Spotify crazy. On all Asset. platforms. So at all platforms, yeah. iTunes. Spotify, Apple Music, okay. YouTube, uh-huh. Google Play. So are we, are we, are we, should we expect a video? You know, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, I've been thinking about it. You know. Okay. Um, yeah. I really want to do a video. Yeah. Like I haven't put one out yet. Yeah. So I've been in videos, but I haven't put any out for myself. So I was like, you know what? So I need let's to push this girl, guys. Yeah. Let's push this girl. <laughs> Just follow her on her social media. We're going to put all the social media handles down here and push her. 
you can DM her. You can just say, guys, like we love the song. Can you do a video? And yeah, she'll be. She she would have to do it because everybody's uh, asking for it. I can ask you. <laughs> All right. We'll look forward to that. And that is so so amazing to know about um about what you do with Exposed, your nonprofit organization, and also tapping into what it is that you're interested in, like music and all that, right? Which is so so amazing. And thank you so much for coming. No, thank you for having me. It's it honestly so a pleasure. Like I love you. So <laughs> I love you too. And it was amazing the last time we worked together though that didn't come out. As we didn't come out because I've been so busy. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to edit this, but we'll get to it. Yeah. And so before we go, definitely we're gonna have a game. You know me, I need to lose. You know, just after all this intense talk, knowing who Dizzy is, and then you guys already know now know who she is, what she's all about, mm -hmm. and can follow her. Please, please follow this young lady. She's amazing. So we'll be right back. with my favorite game Woo you already know like i think a lot of people because i normally put my highlights mm -hmm. of the game the game part yeah more than like the whole conversation so that people will be like okay we want to see and then they have to go and watch the whole episode yeah. and then come back <laughs> right which is so so much fun i love it i love to have fun with my guests before before they go so this is a brain teaser questions and how you play it just pick five questions five yeah, right now I'm supposed to be changing the questions, but then I took out the ones that everybody has seen because <laughs> yeah, it's it's it will kill the fun. So just pick out five. I will read all the five. Pick all the five at once. It's okay. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, there. Oh yeah, actually I, I have more yellow than anything. So there's gonna be one serious question. When I mean serious, I mean your knowledge of Canada. I know. <laughs> One serious question, your knowledge of Canada. So it's not, it's not going to be that bad, but it's good. And then the rest, you have to think fast, and it's a five second, five second lot. Okay, so great. You have five seconds to give me an answer. And then we put it on the side and let's see how that goes. So let's start with the first question here. Let's have fun. All right. So if Tali spells T U L Y, right? And then Marley spells M U L L Y, what does J U L Y spell? July. <laughs> yes, yeah. A lot of people think too hard about it. They'll be like, Tali. <laughs> One down, one okay, down. Okay, that was awesome. Nice. <laughs> All right, here's the number one. So, um, do you think you're smart? <laughs> Sometimes I do like to believe it, you know, in some aspects. In some aspects. So, should we go with you think you're smart? Yeah? Yeah, Okay, I think I'm smart. You think you're smart, so spell it. S M A R T. I T. I T. Yeah, say it again. Oh, <laughs> look at you. You're like, F -L -R -T. and then you, ah, okay, you got it. Okay, so this is a half way. Yeah, yeah, this is a half way. I'm thinking, huh? I'm thinking, are you putting the IT? I'm IT, 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 IT. I'm like, smart IT. Okay, okay, you got that one. So, how many, how many points? Oh, this one's the serious one. Okay. Oh, yeah, so just calm down. Okay. Take a deep breath. I know. You ready? Yeah. Okay. You're going to be surprised. How many points does the maple leaf on the Canadian flag have? 13. Don't worry, I didn't know it too. So it's not a big deal. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. So they say an eagle flies 24 kilometers an hour, right? And then you have a pigeon who flies 48 kilometers an hour. Who's faster? <laughs> so 13 puppies, all but eight die. How many do you have left? Wait, which? 13 puppies? Yeah. All but eight die. How many do you have? Eight. <gasps> yes! Yes! There you go! Right, there's like eight. Like, yeah. 
I feel like that will redeem me for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why do you think the maple leaf has 13, um, 13 points? Really, because if you see the maple leaf on the three big parts of it, it's three, six, nine, and then the two at the bottom, ten, eleven. Look at that. <laughs> I like the way you look. Yeah, I, I, I said I, eleven. Yeah, you said eleven, right? Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I did she it later. Yeah, she did. She did later. later. Yep. And then also here we're talking about eagles. Yeah, eagles and pigeons. Like, like we do. No, yeah. no, no, no. I specifically mentioned that flying, right? So pigeons do not fly. Really? Oh shit! Yeah, sorry. I'm the one that's messed up. I meant penguin. Oh my oh, god! No, oh, I put the okay. game on me. Yeah, I'm thinking pigeons. Yeah, pigeons actually. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like pigeon. Oh, penguin. Penguin. So you got? You would have got oh, it. Oh, I would have got, have got it. Oh my gosh! Did I say pigeons? See, I, I think the brain teasers are. Teasers. No, actually. Okay, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it's a penguin. Okay, the brain teasers actually on me. Okay, okay this is my one. The eagle because it can actually fly. Fly exactly. So there's my right. And there you go. But it was so amazing. I didn't even think that would actually come back to me. Like, what? Yeah. Oh my god, I was so so off it. But thank you so much. It was so amazing <laughs> to have you here. No, thank and you for, for just me. the tiny part where we just have to. Put our laughs and then all the laugh is on me right now. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for coming. Well, it was so lovely to have you. And for sure, we will put your details down here so you can follow a days on her Instagram, especially because I think you have three Instagram accounts, right? For yes. different stuff. Um, Dear Kate right? Daisy Music, yeah. a Daisy music right. Exposed Creative. There like. we go. So you might want to follow that and get to know what it is that's happening in Edmonton and her music as well. Otherwise, to the viewers, thank you so much for watching. Keep watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right here. Yeah, right here, right here. And um, stay tuned for more exciting um episodes with different guests prominent and make upcoming. sure to stay tuned yeah to thank stuff, you because there's more coming up so we don't have to sing a lot right now <laughs> but it is so 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 amazing and thank you so much for watching remember little girls with dreams become women of vision take care and god bless you